Hi, this is Juan from Oleme Mucho. Welcome to our channel. And today we have one of the most requested videos of this year, and it's my top 20 fragrances of 2023. This is the commercial edition. Hi, welcome to Huele Me Mucho, a channel dedicated to niche fragrances, colognes, and perfumes. And today, in our non-niche Tuesday, we're going to be talking about my top 20 fragrances of 2023. So, before we start, let me explain a bit uh, how we're going to be doing this video. First of all, I'm going to be doing one fragrance per brand. There's probably other brands or whatever, brands that deserve to have two or more fragrances in this collection, but it's only going to be one fragrance per brand. And uh, the second thing is, is that this video is going to be uh, 20 fragrances plus two honorable mentions. And the two honorable mentions are going to be fragrances that are limited editions. So that's it. Uh, the idea of this video is to run from 20 to one. Yes, I've numbered them from 20 to one. And all the videos that are I am including here are fragrances that I have uh, first spoken about them in 2023. So maybe there are fragrances that were created uh, many moons ago, but the one thing is that I started talking about them in this channel in 2023. So that's the idea behind this stop. So having explained all the rules of engagement, let's jump into the list, starting with the honorable mentions. The two honorable mentions that we have for this video are both from Guerlain, and one of them is Habit Rouge, Rouge Privé, which is probably uh, one of the beastiest, more, most uh, attractive fragrances that I've ever seen in my life. This is a fragrance that is actually like the old uh, Abit Rouge, uh, which I totally love. But this one is denser, rosier, muskier, more attractive and more uh, alluring. This one is just such a beautiful fragrance. But... If I had to say which is a fragrance my wife has loved on me the most this year, it's been this one. It's called L'Homme Ideal Platine Privé. This is a beautiful, beautiful fragrance uh, that combines grapefruit, cypress, dark woods, and that is it. This is a fragrance that you wear it and suddenly it's like elegance and it's so incredible. Bad part, bad thing about them too, they're limited editions. But having said that these two are in the list, and of course there's another Guerlain on the list, let's jump into the number 20. Number 20, we have Gentleman Society. This is by Givenchy. And this is a fragrance that, they, it has come out this year as a way of competing with Why the EDP by Yves Saint Laurent, but in a different way. This is Iris, this is uh, vanilla, this is uh, spicy, this is such a uh, sage, it's just a fragrance that is very elegant, very memorable, and it just tries to compete with the uh, Y collection by, uh, by Yves Saint Laurent in a different way. For me, this is a fragrance that is um, marketed for men, but I do believe that this is a fragrance that is completely, completely unisex. So what's not to love? Please do try it and see for yourself if it is for you or not. Number 19, this is a fragrance that is not for everyone. And this is a fragrance by Billie Eilish and this is called Billie Eilish number no. two. This is dark, uh, resiny, intense. This is ebony, this is uh, dark, this is a bit smoky, it's just darkness in a bottle, but at the same time intense, memorable, something like nothing you've ever smelled before, but if you have something you've never smelled before, you have a risk of not liking it. This is a fragrance that is not for everyone, but if you like it, trust me, I mean, it's going to be for you forever. By the way, this one is completely unisex. This is for men and women alike. Number 18. We've got Alien Goddess by Mugler. This is a fragrance that I find fantastic. This is the epitome of summer fragrances. This is a fragrance that is fruity, floral, ambery, but 
In this case, the fruit is just more than carnal fruit. It's got coconut as well. So it's fruit, uh, it's fruit, it's coconut, it's sexy, it's just the perfect fragrance for summer. And I love it. I mean, now that we are uh, using a lot of fragrances that are not for the perfect location or for the perfect season, this one is a fragrance that you could be using in winter too, but in summer, during summer, this is something out of this world. For me, this is a fragrance that is marketed for women and it's for women and that's it. And uh, But I do encourage everyone to try it. You're going to hear me say a lot about how good these fragrances are, but just let me tell you that these are the top 20 fragrances of 2023 that I've smelled over a thousand of them. So tell, I'm just telling you, just uh, these are very much carefully selected. And the next one, this number 17, is Dior Homme Sport. Dior Homme Sport is a fragrance that I have really enjoyed because it's a fragrance that it, it's a citric, spicy, woody fragrance. As for the original Dior Homme that is currently on sale, it's a woody, spicy with a hint of citric. This is, a, the combination of the notes is different and the outcome is completely different. In this case, this is a fragrance that is versatile, elegant, sexy, and memorable. I love this one and that's why it's on this list. I mean, I had this one or the Dior Homme, the original one, and I chose this one because I like it better. Number 16, number 16, we've got Valentino Uomo Intense. Valentino Uomo is one of the most special uh, fragrances that there, 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 there is. I love it, but if this is a fragrance that came out in the hype of uh, Dior Homme Parfum or Dior Homme Intense or Prada Lom or whatever. And this is, for me, is the third one in terms of, I mean, Dior Homme, I prefer Dior Homme Parfum and Prada Lom Intense over this one, but if they did not exist, this would be the perfect pick. This is an Iris Plus leather. The Iris is more lipsticky as in the Dior Homme Parfum. But this one has a twist that is an unexpected twist and it smells like almonds. So iris, leather, almonds. It's like a mind-blowing experience and it really smells fantastic. So what's not to love? This is Valentino Uomo. And it says Uomo, Uomo everywhere. Uomo, man, man. This is a completely unisex fragrance. Men and women alike are going to love it. Number 15, we've got Scalpers, the club. And this is a fragrance that has got a very classic structure. Uh, it's got la lavender tonka, such as uh, Jean-Paul Gaultier Le Mal, also Dunhill Icon Racing, which I love. But this one, even though it's a classic structure that we've seen repeated plenty of times, it's done with perfection. This, The quality of this is unheard of. This is lavender tonka plus bit of chocolate plus a bit of uh, tobacco plus amber and plus musk. So you have a fragrance that is incredibly perfect. If you're expecting for something that is groundbreaking and new, this is not the case. If you want something that you're going to receive more compliments than probably any other fragrance in this list, this is the one. This is a fragrance that is marketed for men and I do believe it's for men. But I mean, who, who am I to stop you if you're a woman and you want to try this one? Number 14, number 14, we've got Narciso Rodriguez for her forever. This is the fragrance that came along. It's celebrating a Narciso Rodriguez for her, the anniversary edition. Uh, the original Narciso Rodriguez for her, which is a combo of rose plus musk, is a fragrance that I think everyone that has smelled this on a woman has fallen in love with that woman. One of the sexiest fragrances for men ever. And this is like the updated version for me. Uh, Narciso Rodriguez for her, it's a fragrance that it, it's got for, it's perfect for under 25 years old. This is the over 25 years old and it's fantastic. This is got Osmanthus, uh, uh, Frangipani, Gardenia, white flowers. Of course, it's got rose, it's got a lot of musk and it's just this elegance, this magical power just that enhances your uh, your attraction mode. This is a fragrance that is marketed for women and I believe it's for women, but I've smelled this, I've reviewed this, and I've fallen in love with this. What can I say? Number 13, we've got Polo 
red de parfum. And this is a fragrance that it also is trying to compete with the uh, YEDP by Yves Saint Laurent. And this is a fragrance that it actually smells fantastic. It's got this sage, it's got the a bit of sad absinthe that is present in many fragrances today. It's got uh, sanguine orange, it's got, it's dense, it's magical. It's a fragrance that is going to be so attractive, so memorable, and it's, it's a fragrance that it actually smells great. So out of the whole uh, Polo Red collection, this is my absolute favorite. I smell them all. And this is the one that really stands out. I find it fantastic. And I've worn it several times and the results have been fantastic. So for me, this one is a fragrance that is marketed for men. It's going to be bought much more by men, but I would recommend women to try it too. Number 12. Number 12 is a fragrance like none other. I've never smelled anything like this in the niche world, in the commercial world, anywhere. And it's a beautiful name. It's called the Tank Battle. It's the story of a man, of an artist that, uh, this reminds me of the story of a man. Okay, no, I'm sorry. Uh, the story of a man that yeah, lived in this tank and he would, uh, he's a, he was an artist and he would come out of his tank and sell his paintings. And one morning when he woke up, he realized that Bansky had painted on his tank and suddenly it became a work of art and everybody went to visit and he just wanted everybody to leave his tank alone because that was his home. So this is a tank battle. This is the battle to get his tank back. And it's a combo of incredible uh, chewing gum, amber, animalic metal. It's super sexy, it's super memorable, and it's a fragrance like none other. You want to smell like nothing you've ever smelled before? This is the one. It smells fantastic. It's got this hint of sexy allure. Like, look at me, I'm going to eat you alive. Boom, completely unisex. This is phenomenal. Well, at number 11, we've got, of course, the Yves Saint Laurent Y-E-D-P-I, Eau de Parfum Intense. And this is an updated version, which I love. This is a fragrance that, of course, is based on the original um, Eau de Parfum. But in this case, this is, they've made it more fougerish, more masculine, more for men. And this is a fragrance that, of course, the, you've got the fougere fragrance structure. It's got citric, lavender, tonka, I'm sorry, lavender, spicy, uh, um, oak moss, vetiver patchouli, uh, whatever. In this case, this has got a bit of lavender and a bit of more masculinity. This is as if they had used the the why um, the EDP original and they've put some more masculine vibe into it. Super elegant. This is less versatile than the original EDP. This one is going to be less liked than the original EDP. But if it is for you, as it is for me, you're going to love, love, love it, which I have. So this is EDP I of the Performing Tense. Why? By Yves Saint Laurent. Well, number 10. Number 10, we've got uh, a fragrance that is La Vie Belle by Lancôme. And for me, La Vie Belle, it's got just... I had one version that I loved was the, the Elixir, the ultra concentrated version, which I totally dig. But um, the others I was not that fond of, but now there is a second one that is even better than the Elixir or the, the really concentrated one. And it's called the Iris Absolute. And this is a fragrance that it's got that fruity, floral, ambery fragrance with a lot of Iris that makes it cleaner, brighter, more elegant, more memorable and more unique. So for me, this has been a huge discovery. I find that this is a fragrance that is completely feminine, but I love Iris so much that I've worn it and I, I can really pull it off. But I totally see that this is a fragrance that is going to be loved, absolutely loved by women. Try it. Well, number nine, number nine, we've got Devotion by Dolce and Gabbana. This is a, a fragrance that has blown my mind. The first time I smelled it, I thought, whoa, this is unbelievable. This is like a lemon cake filled with vanilla. So it's a beautiful lemon, sweet lemon. It's a sweet lemon pie 
It's a lot of lemon, a lot of spices, and with a lot of vanilla. It's overwhelmingly sweet, it's over, overwhelmingly sexy, but at the same time, it's so special, so incredible, that you feel elegant and you're going to have everybody drooling over you. I understand that this is a fragrance that is going to be bought much more by women than by men, but for guys out there, try it and you're going to see. But this is a, I have to stop you one second. If you hate vanillic fragrances, run away from this one because this is overwhelmingly vanillic. Number eight, we've got Prada Lom Lo. This is the light blue color. And this is a fragrance that is perfection in a bottle. I love iris fragrances. I love fragrances that are uh, aquatic and clean. This is what it has, it's blue, Iris, elegant for every moment and occasion. You want a fragrance that is perfection in a bottle. This is a no-brainer. This is a fragrance that you would use as a no-brainer. You put it in a, in a near your house and you, no matter what you want to do, it's like, psh, and you go, and you go. You have to go to buy bread, perfect. You have to, have to go to the gym, perfect. You have to go out, perfect. You Anything you do is going to be perfection. So this is a no-brainer kind of fragrance. It's perfect, it's fantastic. I have a super soft spot for this one. Number seven, the original Aqua Di Gio is for me one of the best fragrances in the history of perfumery. Also one of the biggest bestsellers ever. And um, there was a version that uh, it's a Profumo that they've discontinued it this year. So Giorgio Armani came out with this composition that actually mixes and blends a bit of all the flankers they have currently in the market. They have the Eau de Parfum, the Original, the Profondo, the whatever. I mean, you've got all of them, and inclu including the darkness in sense of the uh, Profumo, they've mixed it and they've come out with this one. In my opinion, after the Original or at the same level, or because it's the modern way of doing things, this is the best Aqua Di Gio I've ever smelled. And it's a fragrance that is incredible for every moment and occasion. This is also a fragrance that is super versatile, super elegant, is going to get a lot of compliments. And it's just the kind of fragrance that if you had to buy one from this collection that could also help you to go out at night, this would be the one. This is just the ultra versatility. I was speaking about this one before as the no-brainer kind of thing, is that you go perfect in every occasion. But if you want just versatility for day and for night, this is the one. It is unbelievable. Number six. Number six, we've got Tom Ford Costa Azzurra Parfum. And this is the best Tom Ford uh, from the Costa Azzurra collection. And I am putting this uh, Tom Ford in the commercial collection because I normally <clears throat> do two types of Tom Fords, the brown boxes with the special uh, presentations, I don't know, Woodwood, Woodwood Intense, or I don't know, uh, Tobacco and Ale. For me, those are niche because they're not present anywhere, or everywhere, I mean. But this one is a fragrance that you can find probably in every department store. And it's so great. It's a fragrance that is aquatic, green, cypress, bergamot, elegant. And it's a fragrance that is super alpha, super masculine, super dominant. And it's a fragrance that is just the kind of fragrance that you want a fragrance that is fresh, elegant, and sexy. Boom, and super alpha. This is a fragrance that is going to be bought for men and I find it very, very masculine. Well, number five, we've got probably the worst name of this list and it's called Sunrise on the Red Sand Dunes because the name and the fragrance that don't have anything to do with each other. And, um, I bought this fragrance because a friend of mine told me that this was a fragrance that smelled exactly the same as Imagination by Louis Vuitton. Imagination by Louis Vuitton is my favorite, favorite citric spicy fragrance of all time. But when I smelled this, I said, it doesn't, it actually doesn't, but it smells so great that it's, that's why it's on this list on number five. This is a fragrance that has got grapefruit, it's got spices, it's got, uh, a bit of woody vibe, an undertone of aquatic hint that it really enhances the, the mix. It's just such 
a beautiful fragrance. Such a, it's not aquatic actually, it's more ambroxanic, but I mean, we tend to confuse ambroxanic with aquatic, but this is just the sexiest kind of citric you can find. Is it like um, Imagination? No. Does it live in the same city? Yes. It is unbelievable. With this horrible name and all, this is a beautiful fragrance. Number four is, this is Her Undressed by Sadiq and Voltaire. And this is a fragrance that has blown my mind. This is a fragrance that is very, very mild, discreet, sexy, and unstoppable. This is a fragrance that is white flowers with a hint of a second skin on top of your skin. It's uh, elegant, it's creamy, it's just the, the mind-blowing experience that when you wear it, you realize that you are sexier than anybody else. You want to have a sexy experience without overwhelming others because, I mean, if you want a beast mode, I would recommend you buy um, Billie Eilish number two. But if you want something that is discreet yet unstoppable, this is the one. And it's got this sexiness of this second skin on top of your skin that is unbelievable. This is called This Is Her. This is a fragrance that is marketed for women. I know women are going to buy it more, but guys out there, try it and you're going to see how incredible this fragrance is. Number three. Number three, we've got one of the best fragrances of all time, which is Jean Paul Gaultier Le Mal, but this is the updated uh, and improved version. This is Jean Paul Gaultier Le Mal Elixir. And this is a fragrance that is just, and I'm saying the updated and upgraded version because of course the original one was a hit, was a something that really changed the world of perfumery. But this one is the one that for 2023 has no match. For me, it's my favorite fragrance of this collection hands down, and it's intense. It's tonka, it's lavender, it's uh, spicy, it's tobacco, it's a bit of leather. It's just a fragrance that you wanna go out at night and be more successful than Coca-Cola. Do not think twice. This is unbelievable. I mean, this is the kind of fragrance men have always worn uh, for going out at night, but this is the updated, upgraded version. But on women, this smells fantastic too. Number two, we have a fragrance that I discovered this summer and it's called Reflections by CK1. And this is a fragrance that you're seeing it in this bottle, but if you saw it in uh, Louis Vuitton as a presentation of Louis Vuitton, you would probably uh, buy it as well. I mean, if you saw it in a bottle like this, you would probably go crazy and buy it because the scent is so fantastic. It's just a green, aquatic, musky, elegant, fabulous fragrance, completely unisex. It sm smells like crazy good and it's crazy sexy. What can I say? This is a fragrance that I bought for myself. My wife has stolen it and I've just stolen it again for this video, but she will come here soon and steal it back. We're talking about crazy, Crazy, crazy good. I mean, I'm talking about the second best fragrance of 2023 for me, the commercial edition. This is unbelievable. And last but not least, we've got Heritage. Of course, the uh, other Parfum. This is a fragrance that has been around for a long, long, long time. But this is a fragrance that it's utter perfection. This is elegance in a bottle. You want a fragrance that is elegance in a bottle. This is a spicy, um, woody, lavender, magical fragrance. Is that you want to be elegant. Uh, I thought, I mean, I've heard a lot of times that this is a fragrance that has same DNA as Danger by Roger Dov, which is a brand and a fragrance that I've always loved. And I can say that for me, they don't smell similar, but they do have this ultra elegant sexy vibe. You want an ultra elegant sexy vibe? This is the one. It's unbelievably sexy, elegant, and memorable. Elegance in a bottle, this one. This is number one, my number one of the year, and one of the best fragrances that I've ever smelled in my life. So, with Heritage de Eau de Parfum, we are, and by the way, this is a fragrance that is more for men than for women, but 
try it and see how incredible this fits on your skin. Yes, my friends, with this, we've ended this collection. Top 20 fragrances, commercial fragrances of 2023. This is a commercial edition. I hope that you've liked it and I would love to know which ones have been your favorite or your discoveries of 2023. And I would love to read you down here and you let me know which ones were actually the ones that blew your mind in this year that is ending. So without further ado, this is the end of the video. I hope that you've liked it. If you have, just give us a like, subscribe to the channel. And I look very much forward to seeing you in the next videos of Huele Me Mucho. Talk to you soon. Adios, adios.